Hello, I'm the property strategist Stephen Chong. In my previous video, I have shared the location of copper condo, amenities nearby, schools nearby, and future developments nearby. So today, I'm going to touch on the floor plan analysis and my review on copper at Newton. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe. Click the alert notification. That way, as we release more content like this, you will get notified. With two towers of 23-storey high-rise, Copper and Newton has a total of 378 units. Expected to be complete in 2023, the main entrance is at Macway Avenue, with basement car park. Many projects nearby are less than 200 units, with limited facilities and landscaping. Here in Copper Condo, we have plenty of facilities for you. Swimming pool, gym, tennis court, hydrotherapy pool, hot spa pool, cold spa pool, steam room, massage room, and more. Ranging from one bedroom to five bedroom and penthouses, Copper Condo is suitable for on stay as well as investment. The floor plan available now is incomplete, so I will only cover whatever that I have as of now. Okay, let's start with the one bedroom layout. There are three stacks of one bedroom and only one type, which is 517 square feet. If you have seen Avenue South Residence one bedroom sofa flat before, the layout is almost similar. When you open the main door, there are some space on your right hand side where you can build the shoe cabinet with sofa seat. The open concept kitchen with the built-in cabinet is on your left hand side. I would suggest to shift your dining table to the balcony so that your living room will be more spacious. If you worry about the heat at the balcony, you may install the jeep track and the ceiling fan to cool down. The bedroom and bathroom is on your right hand side. There are two stacks of 2 bed 1 bath unit and 4 stacks of 2 bed 2 bath unit. For 2 bed 1 bath, you have only one type which is 614 square feet. It is like a dumbbell layout, one bedroom on the left and another bedroom on the right hand side. Okay, once you enter from the main entrance, there is a small space for you to build the shoe cabinet. Then you will see an open concept kitchen with dual row built-in cabinets. For the common room on the left, this space could be wasted if you don't utilize it. So I would suggest you to build a bookcase or contemporary shelf. The developer left this space empty for your own creativity to make use of the space based on your needs. For the master bedroom, you can fit in a king size bed. The attached bathroom comes with two doors. For the 2-bed, two 2-bath, two we have 3 types, 2D1, 2D1A, and 2D1B. However, the available floor plan as of now is only type 2D1, which is 6 at 9 square feet. The layout for the kitchen, dining, living, and balcony are similar to the 2-bed, two 1-bath. For this layout, you can place your furniture along the walls. But for the 2 bed 1 bath dumbbell layout, you have to leave this space empty for the doors opening. Next, we have the 3 bedroom classic and 3 bedroom deluxe. All are situated at the corners of the building. What I have now, the floor plans are Type 3C1 and 3D2. For the Type 3C1, you have the foyer which offers better privacy for your unit. There is no storeroom for 3C1, 
so the developer will provide a built-in cabinet for your storage whereas for the type 3d2 you have a household shelter for your storage you have enclosed kitchen for both types 3d2 has a longer kitchen with a wc at the back all the bedrooms can fit in at least a queen size bed for the type 3d2 master bedroom i would suggest you to place your bed over there and build your own extra wardrobe at the edge We have three types of four bedroom units, 4D1, 4D2, and 4D2A. The available floor plan as of now is 4D1, which is 1604 square feet. This should be the only one stack with dual view. Good for natural brightness and air ventilation. And it has a private lift. Once you step out from the lift, there is an exclusive private lift lobby. This layout comes with 5.6 wide frontage living and dining area with good sized balcony. It also has a separated dry and wet kitchen. You have a household shelter, a yard and WC behind the kitchen. The key highlight here is the master bedroom. It comes with a walk-in wardrobe and I will suggest to cover up this opening with additional wardrobe to make it an L shape. There is also a bathtub in your master bathroom. We have only one stack of five bedroom, which is 1819 square feet, facing the main swimming pool. Similar to the four bedroom, it also has a private lift and exclusive private lift lobby. also comes with 5.6 meter wide living and dining area with good sized balcony. You have a 2.6 meter long island dry kitchen and a separated wet kitchen with the yard and WC at the back. Four bedrooms on the left hand side and one bedroom on the right. You have two en suites plus one master bedroom. The master bedroom is very spacious and it comes with a walk-in wardrobe and there is also a bathtub in the master bathroom. Copper has 8 units of penthouses in total. And every single unit layout is different from another. I only have one of the floor plan as of now which is ph1 it has six bedrooms in total plus one study room and another family area which can be enclosed you have 10 meter super wide frontage 5.4 meter high ceiling living and dining plus the luxurious 3.5 meter long island dry kitchen in addition, you also have the bathtub in both master and junior bathroom. The master bedroom comes with good sized walk-in wardrobe and a private study corner. Now, the most important is still the price, right? I was told that the price at copper will be starting from 2100 plus PSF. Even the RCR projects also come close to our price range. And below are the indicative prices for copper at Newton. Look at the price quantum. It is really attractive. If it is not due to the virus outbreak, we wouldn't have this opportunity to own a CCR condo at RCR price. <laughs> 